Hey, Big Mo. Welcome to the Lawn Stars, guys and gals. Oh, I tell you what, it is a beautiful day. How are y'all doing on this gorgeous, glorious day? Well, yeah, it's pretty now, but it's not going to be that way the next couple of days. So don't let this good weather fool you. Like I've said in the past, you have to be, if you're in the lawn care business, you have to become somewhat of a amateur weatherman <clears throat> or amateur a meteorologist. Um, you really do, because you really got to keep a close eye, as you know, on the weather. And like I said, I can't let this this gorgeous day or it's been like this for the past few days just gorgeous not a cloud in the sky so you know but i can't let that fool me i can't let that lull me into a sense of security because <laughs> i know it's coming because i keep an eye on the weather and uh i know it says 40 percent chance or whatever of rain tomorrow and then 50 percent chance saturday well what that tells me just looking at the way it's going i can't just go by that you know you can't just go well it's just hey 60 <laughs> percent chance it's not gonna rain or 50 percent chance it's not gonna rain the next day baloney i'm just telling you a lot of times when it's 40 50 percent chance of rain it's really a hundred percent chance of rain. And uh, I just got that gut feeling that it's going to rain me out totally tomorrow. I mean, I know it is Saturday, but I have that gut feeling it's gonna be that way tomorrow. So instead of just going big mo, you know, it's you know, it's sixty percent chance it ain't gonna rain, blah 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 blah. It'll be okay. Sometimes you just got to suck it up, people. You just have to suck it up and go, okay, I'm going to do today's and tomorrow's yards today. And it sucks. You know, I think King Brando had to do 16 by himself the other day, and it was rough. They're not tiny yards, so. <clears throat> sometimes, but sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta suck it up and do it. And the best way to do that is to not think about it. You know, like I've said in the past, uh, and this is for people new to the business or if you're a, if you work for someone or if you have someone work for you, uh, pass this along to them. Don't count the yards, you know, don't go, Oh, we got 10 more or we got nine more. Never count the yards. It just makes it worse. Just do them. Just do them, do them, do them, do them. And uh, you'll be a lot better off. Otherwise, you'll kind of mess with yourself mentally if you sit there and count down the yards. But anyway, I'm not going to count down the yards. And I don't think JR is going to count down the yards. So let's go not count down these yards and get her done. And then we can work tomorrow. If it does happen to not rain all day, then maybe we can do something else. There's always something to do. So let's go do it. Come on, come on with me. Let's go mow something and then we'll talk again afterwards. Watch the whole thing, if you will, please. Helps algor al agor algorithms, the algorithms. Come on, come on, let's do it. Enough talk. Get up on your feet, this is a shakedown. Order up that beat just like a takeout. Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with an attitude So good, so fresh, just the way you like it you 
feet. This is a shakedown. Okay, I want to know something from you guys in the comments. Uh, do you, I assume everyone tries to mow one direction one week and another direction the next week, or at least switch it up sometimes, you know, because you don't want to start leaving a pattern or, or ruts or whatever. And uh, the dilemma that I run into is on some yards where it's easier one way, like there's a distinct factor of quickness <laughs> one way. It's a lot faster is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth hole. Uh, it's a lot faster one way than it is the other way. Um, and I run into this dilemma where I'll have a week where I've maybe mowed it the fast way and then the next week I'm supposed to mow it the slow way, but I'm real busy that day. So I'm just like, ah, I'm just gonna mow it the fast way. And then the next time I mow it, you know, I'm just like, uh, I know I'm, I've got to switch out, but man, I got to get done today. I'm, it's, I got to get done. So I'm gonna do it the fast way again. And I end up doing it a lot one way, you know. Um, I didn't know if any of the rest of you have that little uh, tug back and forth with your what you're supposed to do and what you're doing, you know. But yeah, it happens sometimes with me. You know, I'll go, uh, blah, blah, doing it the fast way. But anyway, um, also... I want to know something. Do you ever have these yards like this particular little yard here? It would be a lot quicker or a lot easier, a lot more convenient to come one direction to this house. But I have to come the other direction because I have to use the three foot moa i have to get it off there and if i come from that direction there if i come from that large direction it puts me where i'm having to put this three foot out and i know it don't look like much because it never does on camera but i have to put it out on this hill right here and i'm telling you it's almost it, it was almost didn't happen that I was able to get the, the three foot back up on the gate because it just kept, got to the top and it was just sliding because it was almost like this, uh, trying to get back up on that. So I have to come from that direction over there. Who the H-E double L is this? Nobody. Um, if it was Doc, I was gonna cuss him out. For interrupting me and our talk you know because I don't like people interrupting us you know because I, I I take our talks uh, very seriously and uh, I don't like it to be interrupted by rude people not that Doc's rude but if it had been Doc I was gonna give him a piece of my mind just kidding um, but yeah, I have to come from that direction right there because that way it puts me putting the three foot out right out here in the driveway, which is so much easier. Oh, well. Anyway, guys and gals, I tell you what, we're about one third of the way through. Hold on a minute. And the pollen is attacking me. But yeah, we're about one third of the way through, so I gotta go. <laughs> we gotta get done. But anyway, love you guys. Stay safe out there. Have a great weekend. I'm about to, sne about to sneeze again. Anyway, have a great weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Big Mo signing off. Boo! Feet.
This is a shakedown. Order up that beat just like a steak.